The phone rings in the middle of the night. It's the third shift operator telling you that there's been a process upset. Do you get out of bed, dress, and drive 25 miles to the plant? No. Instead, you use your BlackBerry and check what's happening. Make a few changes to process set points and watch the system recover. Far-fetched? Not at all. Hi, I'm Jim Montague, Executive Editor of Control Magazine, and this is Workers Unchained, a video report on Senior Editor Dan Abair's cover story in the April issue of Control. I'm going to tell you about three of the cool case studies in Dan's article, but you can get a lot more details, best practices, and even some advice by reading the full article. If you don't have the print issue handy, you can also read it at www.controlglobal.com. Of course, the only way to believe this Blackberry to the rescue example is if it actually happened. And it did, at Mohawk Fine Papers in Cohost, New York. In fact, on a recent Sunday afternoon at home with a single click of a Blackberry, one of Mohawk's engineers was able to tell that his paper machine was up, running at a particular speed, and consuming so much energy. This remote capability is part of the Information Everywhere project that Mohawk implemented in 2009. According to Ben Whitaker, Mohawk's Enterprise Process Reengineering Manager, the project was needed to give managers a real-time view of Mohawk's enterprise so they could better coordinate and handle a huge increase in its finished product offerings. Information Everywhere gathers information from control production, inventory, purchasing, order entry, scheduling, and accounting systems, and delivers it to users via web pages, mobile devices, and within applications. To show managers these key performance indicators on their Blackberries, Mohawk implemented Transpare's Visual KPI software, which delivers role-based, actionable KPIs, scorecards, and trends on any mobile device or PC. The other technologies involved include OSIsoft's Pi Data Historian, Microsoft SQL Server for Data Extraction, Transformation, and Loading, and Microsoft SharePoint as the information portal. Whitaker reports, since Mohawk was already a BlackBerry environment, it was a natural fit to put visual KPI on BlackBerries. Most of the data from the production systems are interfaced through OSI Pi. However, we also integrated Transpare's KPIs with our ERP system and various Microsoft SQL databases. Whitaker adds that the Information Everywhere project helped Mohawk improve its machine output, customer satisfaction, and energy consumption in 2009. In our second case, biotech manufacturer Novartis reports that in 2008 it migrated to version 9 of Emerson Process Management's Delta V system and also added integrated Wi-Fi and wireless security. And in 2009, the firm expanded its wireless architecture with added Wi-Fi access points and implemented a complete mobile wireless solution. Philippe Heitz, head of engineering at Novartis, says, the most recent developments to Emerson's Delta V system have enabled us to implement a plant-wide wireless solution. In fact, because wireless helps reduce the number of required workstations, Novartis's network presently includes 17 mobile operator stations and 100 Delta V controllers spread over two systems. The first system controls the upstream process of cell cultivation and harvesting, and the second controls the downstream phase of purification and freezing. Both systems will soon be interconnected using Delta V Zone software and hardware or connecting automation platforms. Operators at Novartis can move from one level to another with their mobile station and still maintain an overview of the process. This has significantly improved operator efficiency and reduced the number of required workstations by 50%. A further benefit is that when a new product is being launched or a recipe changed, the mobile stations can be moved throughout the plant, obviating the need to install new operator stations. Patrick Bostert, automation expert at Novartis, adds that, because of the wireless network, we don't need to systematically invest in new control stations, even if production requires a change to the plant equipment or layout. Thanks to wireless technology, we cut workstations required for the production area in half. The third case in our report is about avoiding rattlesnake-like problems at Huntsman Corporation's chemical plant in Port Neches, Texas. John Prowse, Huntsman's Vice President of Manufacturing Excellence, explains, these rattlesnakes are the unseen, unnoticed problems that can really bite you. To eliminate these unseen and unnoticed problems, Prowse and his team recently undertook an aggressive manufacturing excellence program called Project Zero. 
Huntsman's ambitious objectives were zero product defects, zero safety incidents and injuries, zero environmental releases, and zero unscheduled downtime. To help deliver on the objectives of Project Zero, Huntsman partnered with suppliers like Industrial Mobility, Aprion, and Motorola. Field operators use Industrial Mobility's Field Ops Field Mobility software to execute electronic smart rounds and checklists. They can enter real-time defect elimination work requests in the field, monitor and control standard operating conditions for each piece of equipment, and access up-to-date standard operating procedures. Prowse believes it's critical to centralize and manage safety critical information in one place rather than building nested safety data into each round, checklist, or procedure. The mobile ops solution contains a standard operating condition database engine that provides safety critical data to operators and mechanics at the point of decision making in the field. All handheld field executable procedures, rounds, and checklists pull their safety critical data from this same central source. Legacy information such as process and instrumentation diagrams, process flow diagrams, drawings, procedures, and incident reports are also immediately available on demand in the field. Using Motorola's MC9090 mobile computers, Huntsman staff can connect anywhere throughout the four square mile plant via Aprion's ION system, which consists of a Class 1 DIV2 rated wireless application network. Applications include video, voice communications, energy efficiency, and condition monitoring. A centralized dashboard brings together application data, wireless regional maps, equipment, status views, maintenance views, and reports. Prowse says, initial results show significant improvements and indicate the goals of Project Zero will be achieved. With real-time wireless tracking of technicians' rounds, the number of pumps requiring daily inspection was reduced by 50%. This allows more time for other cr crucial inspection areas. He concludes real-time monitoring of standard operating conditions has also led to significant process improvements and cost savings due to increased uptime and longer equipment lifetime. Kim Hoyt, Huntsman's Manufacturing Excellence Manager adds, a key operational improvement was putting every unit procedure in an operator's hand while he or she is in the field. Operators no longer had to remember the thousands of details buried in hundreds of procedures. They're available at their fingertips. As a result, safety incidents at Huntsman were reduced by over 75% and are expected to fall to zero. The mobile system has also reduced maintenance costs and increased uptime by improving overall equipment effectiveness and ultimately increasing production quality and quantity. This has been Workers Un Unchained, a cover story video report in Control's April 2010 issue. And I'm Jim Montague, reporting for the Process Automation Media Network. Thanks for watching.